But these are all the job specific achievement slash trophies in the Back to the Future DLC. And the first one here is on the first level, which is for the time machine. And as you complete the time machine, you'll get your achievement slash trophy for completing it if it's your first time. But after doing so, you might be tempted to just move on to the next job. But what you actually want to do is just hang out here, watch the time machine jump through time. And then if you wait around one minute, it'll actually come back and you'll get an extra achievement slash trophy for waiting for it. At any point during the clock tower job, you can head on inside and up the stairs into the actual clock tower room. There will be a hammer that you can interact with in order to ring the bell and you will get an achievement slash trophy for doing so. There are two job specific achievement slash trophies on the Holomax Theater. The first one is right here at the very beginning, but you can do this at any point during the mission. If you turn right and come over to the gas station and stand on this red X, this shark will appear for an achievement slash trophy. The other job specific achievement slash trophy on this one is for completing the grid wall before completing anything else. You can use the scaffolding to head up to the roof here and you're going to need to work on the grid wall, the front, the back and the sides before completing any other part of the Holomax theater in order to get your achievement slash trophy. And finally, on the docks time train job, you need to complete the flux capacitor and its particle colliders first before completing anything else. So the flux capacitor can be found at the front here. It's this red box with a fan in it. Basically, you just need to wash everything inside of this box before cleaning anything else for your final job specific achievement slash trophy in this DLC.